One of my favorite songs of like last five years has been Uma Thurman. Oh wow! Nice. And I know, but I'm I'm curious though because I know you guys asked her about it, but I'm curious the logistics behind that. Like when you write this song, like do, do you celebrities? Do you guys have like a phone book where you can just call her? <laughs> like what? How how do you get? Do you have a G chat thread? Like how do you get a hold of someone like Uma Thurman? And what do you say to her at that point? Like we wrote this song. Is this cool? I'm a psycho, so I only want my phone bo- my phone contacts to be filled with like old '80s wrestlers numbers <laughs> and and rappers numbers. Those are the like, the only people that I care about yeah. <laughs> texting with. So so like, you I did- have Drake in my phone in a way to make sure that I don't text him when I'm drunk. <laughs> and be like, You're so awesome. Uh, no, so like so we've actually put out a song. Um, Years ago, uh, we put out a song that we were going to call, we were going to name after David Ruffin, who was in The Temptations, and mm-hmm. it's like a long story, whatever. But the law- our lawyers didn't, we weren't allowed to do that. They made us change the name of it, because uh, I think following, a, there's an outcast song, and if you make a reference to a person that's of certain notoriety, and you don't really reference it in the song, like there's all these r- like legal yeah, things you rules, were yeah. able to do and not able to do. I think legally we probably, I don't know if we had to ask her, but we felt like, you, you know, like we wanted to be a positive. Yeah, I mean, any chance you, you have, I mean? any excuse you have to talk to Uma Thurman, you might as well take advantage. Yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't get to talk to her, yeah. but oh, yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> talked to her directly. Oh, but regardless, yeah. somebody did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I 